No more secrets. We now know some things about the PlayStation 5. Well, it's been more than a week since the event and that's what we're going to talk about today. PlayStation 5 Showcase. I was a little bit surprised on what we saw uh, last week on the PlayStation 5 event because with a 40 minute overall event uh, I wasn't expecting very much but Sony did have some things under his lips and before moving on I just want to thank you the sponsor of this video that it's me yes and my stream so if you wanna join me Monday Wednesday or Friday in my stream I'm gonna leave the Twitch link in the description down below with all my social media if you wanna follow let's check how everything started with the first look at the new Final Fantasy game Final Fantasy 16 uh, I wasn't expecting much from Square Enix because they stated that Final Fantasy 7 remake was a uh, full development so I wasn't sure that they were working on any other project than Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2. The first thing that I noticed is that it has a darker tone than previous entries. Uh, well, we don't know much yet about the story but we had a glimpse uh the battle system and it's still in the page from Final Fantasy 7 remake also we saw some classic enemies coming back as Malboro and Kurl for old Kurl? Well the big cat with the whiskers and the electric attacks. As expected we are already hearing some amazing music composition and it's really a trademark of the franchise. Of course we don't have a release date or even a release window and it's a console exclusive for the PlayStation 5. I don't know yet if it's going to PC but I remember Final Fantasy 15 uh, have to wait two years from its release from PlayStation 4 to get launched at PC. So I think we are just going to have to wait and see. Is it out yet? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. So, they sent in the Dragoons. Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? The Archduke's son. Phoenix. Stop this! Second night on the fire. But that's impossible. We quickly move on to the first gameplay look at uh, the new Spider-Man games, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Of course, it's very similar to the previous Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4, but with new techniques 
and skills. Well, it's a different chapter, of course. The game will be able at launch for the PlayStation 5, and it's also been confirmed if you buy the PlayStation 4 edition of the game, you will have a free upgrade for the PlayStation 5. Just remember, if you buy the physical copy of the game, it won't work on the digital version of the PlayStation 5. And how the disc tray? You can't put the disc in. Just remember before buying the game on the PlayStation 5. We saw our first look at Hogwarts Legacy, a third-person action RPG game set it in the Harry Potter universe. I'm not a very huge fan of Harry Potter, but it was a nice addition to the showcase. This game is not exclusive for PlayStation 5, it's also going to be released for the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. 
So it's not really a console seller per se. I definitely need to see more of this game to know if I'm going to buy it or not. Uh, the first look of the game looks pretty good. So the only thing that I'm worried about is the customizations option of the game. Some wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. After this, Sony show a story mission for the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Cold War, but we're not gonna watch that. Come on, really, you want another guy talking about Call of Duty? Oh, you know. Resident Evil Village, or Resident Evil 8, I don't know yet, uh, was shown next in the showcase, and Capcom is derailing a little bit about the zombie franchise. We saw some new supernatural enemies as werewolf and a lot of confusing stuff uh, about the plot of the game. There's some name popping up that we can recognize and I'm assuming that Resident Evil 8 will work as a link between Resident Evil 7 and the main franchise. And this game feels really Resident Evil 4. And in death we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Mia. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch and into the forest deep. And in death, we give you glory. Mother Miranda. It's just a local tale. If it's just looking, window shop away. Uh, then Sony shows some very uninteresting games as Loop, Odd World, and Five Nights at Freddy. I'm really sorry if there's some fan of the franchise watching this, but I'm really not interested on any of those games. Between those games, Capcom released 
The announcement trailer for Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition and it's thrilling. DMC5 is a great game and I have more contact but the game is really amazing. Uh, if for some reason you haven't played the game, for some reason that I don't understand, obviously, this is a good opportunity to enjoy this game. Next, we move on on a game I'm getting for sure. Uh, I'm a really huge fan of the Souls and Bloodborne series, and Demon Souls, with its new graphics, is looking really, really good. This is one of the few Soul games that I haven't played, and I'm really excited to get my hands on the game and try and enjoy it. And of course, die a freaking lot. Demon Souls is coming as a launch game for the PlayStation 5 as an exclusive, of course. Even though in the presentation there's some part that says it's gonna be able on PC, well, it's not. Uh, then they show and I'm refused to talk about Then Sony presented the PlayStation Plus collection. It's a free uh, collection of games that come with your PlayStation Plus subscription. There are more or less 18 games and they're not gonna cost more or maybe they're not gonna cost extra besides the PS Plus subscription, but we don't know yet if the PlayStation Plus is gonna maintain his price or it's gonna get higher. I don't think it's gonna go lower. I'm betting that it's gonna cost a little bit more than we are paying because, well, that's how things work, right? Especially knowing that uh, Sony is making all its profits on the subscriber services. But hopefully I'm wrong. And finally, the big price reveal from the PlayStation 5. The console edition is gonna cost $4.99, while the digital edition is gonna cost $3.99. The console is launching on November 12th for the US, Canada, Japan, and Europe, I think. And it's gonna come the 19th for the rest of the world. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to get my PlayStation 5. Sony has a little surprise before ending the showcase, and it was the tease trailer for the new God of War game, God of War Ragnarok. The sequel for the 2018 game God of War is launching next year, yes, 2021. They didn't show much about the game, just the logo, the name, and the release window, so we still need to wait for some gameplay or trailers.
Okay, so for me there were two main surprises in this showcase. The first one, of course, was Final Fantasy 16. I didn't know anything about that. Well, I didn't investigate also anything because I'm just stuck with Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2. And of course, the reveal for next year, God of War. For me, in overall, it was a good presentation. The price range from the two editions of the PlayStation 5 are in range or what everyone was speculating and talking about. I hope you have a good time watching this video. Just remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Just a friendly reminder that all other socials are in the description box below. Well, it's a wrap for me, so let's keep playing and see you next time. Whoa! No! No! <laughs> no, I can't! What the hell are you doing? No! <laughs> Why are you doing that, you freaking bastard ninja?